Okay, I'm going to share my uh, experience with a self-made gray water system. First of all, a gray water system is basically a system that you can use in your house for any water that you want to divert into your garden. Um, so it's sort of a recycling or reclamation water system. If you want to, you can very well drain water from your shower, from your bathroom sink, or from your bathtub and use it to um, either irrigate your ornamental garden or any fruit trees anything that bears fruits above ground you can very well water with this gray water um, provided you use some uh, biodegradable some non-toxic soaps and shampoos I have one system already running and as you can see I turn the shower water on and then outside in the garden the water arrives just right next to a tree into a rain garden and waters my garden every day. There's really not a product out there that you can just buy off the shelf so you kind of have to build it out of parts that are meant for different things. Like this for example is a valve for pools and spars. The water drains from the shower into here and then you hook up one side to the city drainage system and then if somebody in your family doesn't want to use organic non-toxic soaps or for any reason you don't want to drain this water into your garden you just set this um, set this valve to divert the water into the city and then now you decide okay this time I'm going to take a shower I'm going to use biodegradable soaps organic stuff good for the garden you can divert the water to the other side and then the water will drain to your garden now this will be under your house so in order to not be having to go under your house and into your crawl space and change this position you can actually automize this and you can take off this um, handle and then you can buy this part which is called a valve actuator and this goes on top, installs on top like this, and will actually remote control to regulate this valve. And again, this is a pull part, and when it comes, I had to install an extra switch. It just sort of comes with, with a little three pin plug, um, which you're supposed to plug into your uh, control station of your pool or your spar but then I made this homemade little switch and then I can switch it in one direction and hopefully you can see it's turning in one direction and then if I want it to go in the other direction to let's say drain to the city I just flip the switch and it'll go in the other direction so I'm gonna put these two parts together and show you how this will change the direction of the flow in this little T crossing or valve and just to give you an idea how much this cost, um, the actuator at Amazon I bought for $74 and the, uh, the valve is called the Jandy Seal Never Loop Valve cost $42. So for $110, $120 bucks, you can get your own gray water system and then use all that water that would just get wasted um, you use it for your garden and you put it back into the soil. So now this is uh, put together. I can put this manual lever back on there. So if ever for some reason this fails and I need to go under the house, I can do that too. But now I have this remote system here, which I can install in under my sink in the bathroom and it will power this switch. And you can see how this opens up or closes. And diverts of wa water either into the garden or to the city. The way that I did it is I put it to one side of the house where I have a young tree and the water comes out and drains into what is called a rain garden 
um, so it's it's kind of a hole that's filled with mulch and that mulch is kind of like a sponge and becomes like a little drain basin that can keep large amounts of water in the soil as opposed to it draining away and eroding um, my soil right next to a tree and the tree needs between 5,000 and 10,000 gallons of water a year so if you take a shower every day 10 20 gallons and you don't have to water that tree it'll take care of itself so there you go that's that's really the key is to make use of resources again and again not just for one thing but still use that water for another purpose you spend a little money you spend a little time and effort but in the long run this system will save uh, I don't know how many thousands of gallons a year um, you can make the calculation. You don't have to water that particular part of the garden. You're reusing water, so you're saving energy down the line. Your city will have certain regulations on whether you're allowed to have a grey water system. For my city, I am allowed to do it without a permit as long as it's a single station grey water system. Single station means that grey water uh, will come from one point either one shower, one bathtub, one bathroom sink and goes from there directly into the garden. If I had a sink and a shower together and then the water will be combined and goes into the garden then I would have to get a permit and a professional grey water system. Alright, hope you enjoy. Uh, please comment, uh, like and subscribe. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm going to do more videos like this. I have like a recirculation pump under my house, but that's, that's for another day.